aggressive namaste. Thank you very much. I practiced it for an hour and a half. Yes. She should have done the tease today because she knows how to yell. Oh, get over yourself. That's downward dog. Come on, you both show us. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I've already won one award. I know. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I've been on TV too long to know that that's the setup of all setups, and it ain't happening. Oh, come on. Yeah. We do yoga no. poses here on the I'm going to see that for the rest of my life. The French think that this I is A-OK? -okay. I know. I'm going to stay out of that legging thing because I guess it's OK for women to wear leggings everywhere, and I still don't know that that's appropriate. What? Oh, that's, you don't want to go down yeah, that road. Because you can still see. You, can <laughs> you know, see. Europeans are different. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was born in Europe. And we you, are not. Europeans show skin. They don't, they don't have the modesty issue. <laughs> Right yeah, on a nude up. beach, but not on an airplane. <laughs> it's a civilized country I, from the that, first world. That, that, you know, <laughs> you know, on. No, this is now, crazy. You know, I, I didn't know it was an option until I read this story <laughs> and found out that I don't know anything about them. I'm also not vain enough to sit there and try to show the world that my kids are the best at this particular I mean, I, I can think of one woman in the industry who are, it does a great job at this in the sports industry is Rachel Nichols. Like, she has twins. Imagine with children. Yeah, and we've talked about it. I've met people out and about who have asked me about... The uh, even of a small child, what's considered cute. I, I don't think it's fair to them later. I'm old enough to remember. A public figure in the public eye as opposed to just your, you know, an average parent. Like, I don't want that scrutiny because I've made mistakes, a lot of them. <laughs> All right, coming up, the high school making national news for giving cheerleading awards based on their physical attributes. Both of them said things that are partially probably right. You know, it probably is too soon. The guy just died yesterday. And to the other woman's point, you know. To the world in terms of fashion and design. Yes, bullet point. He wasn't very nice about it. And he was. Moving on to a Wisconsin high school that's grabbed national attention, the kind of attention it did not want. Reportedly, an investigation by the ACLU found that the Tremper High School cheerleading squad body shames members by handing out gag awards like the Big Booty Judy and the Big Booby Strube at its... <laughs> I laugh because other people here are laughing. At its banquet last March, it is not funny. They knew the Big Booty Awards, Brit, like it or not. Oh, gosh, I'm going to take the unpopular opinion <laughs> here. Um, honestly, I can see this happening with a bunch of teenage girls. Of course. And I'm thinking, I'm hearing that. I'm like, well, if someone said I had a nice big booty or I got a good chest, like, I'm not being insulted by that. I make blonde jokes about myself all the time. I am not offended by it. There are greater tragedies in the world. Toughen up. <laughs> I've been wanting to hand this out for the last 23 minutes. It's our first Big Booty Award. <laughs> like it or not, baby. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? I don't be? think I have Yeah! yeah. Now, that was a funny. Big Booty Award. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, Daddy is trying to cut down on the bread, but you know what? That's part of the curse and the blessing. It's the beginning of a little bit of a reckoning for the country music industry. Hey, if you'd like to share the Big Booty Award with me, <laughs> it's up for grabs.